Okay, so here's our shape. Uh, let's run through our list. I've got it here on my phone here. Um, do we have any points? Yes, we do. We've got the points uh, A, B, C, D, uh, F, um, e on that side. So we definitely got a few points there in our diagram. What else do we have? Do we have any lines? Now remember a line is something that extends forever in both directions. Do we have any of those? In this occasion, we don't. We can see some arrowheads on this side of our diagram, but they don't have a matching arrowhead on the other side of those uh, straight lines. So we don't have lines on this picture, but we definitely have segments. So you can see right through the middle, C and F, that's a segment, a line segment, because uh, it has defined start and end points. It doesn't extend forever. Uh, do we have any other segments in here? Actually we do, all the way through this part of our diagram. Uh, we've got a segment from A to B, another segment from B to C, another segment from C to D. Or you could say that a segment that goes from D to point A, that also works too. And we also have a ray, uh, we've got a ray that goes from this corner straight through across to the other corner. So we would say the ray um, EC. Let's actually start writing these ones out. So we got the ray from E to C, and we draw the arrow icon to show which way it's going. We have another ray down here on the horizontal. It starts at point E and it runs all the way through F and B. So I could call it the ray from E to B. Here I've chosen to skip uh, the point F in the middle because if I wrote E, F, well, that's technically a line segment of where it's got a start and an end point. And that's not what I mean. I wanna show that this line's striking all the way through and extending forever the other side. So that's why I've chosen uh, E and B as the points I'm gonna to refer to. Um, do we have any line segments? Well, we did mention the line segment before, so let's write those out. So we've got the line segment here right through the middle. So I would call that CF, and we draw the straight icon above that, which means segment. What else do we have? We don't have any lines. We have some rays. We definitely have lots of segments out here, but uh, we'll move on to other, other uh, characteristics. Do we have intersection points? And intersection point is where two things meet. We definitely do. We have intersection point right here where the segment CF meets with this, the, the ray EFB. So that's definitely an intersection point. We also got one over here where uh, these two uh, straight lines meet together as well. Um, do we have concurrent lines, meaning many lines all meeting together at the same point? And yes, we do. I would say that at this point over there, that intersection point, there's quite a few lines that are concurrent together. So we have uh, this and this and this and also this. Those are all concurrent with each other. All right, lastly, we've got some angles here that I've shaded in, so let's do the green one first. How would I refer to that one there? Well, I refer to it by the points that form the angle. So the point C through to point E through to point F in that order. I would say the green one is the angle formed by C, E, F. For the pink one, which I will use pink uh, color for, uh, it's formed by the points B, C, and F. So in that sequence, I would say this is the angle B, C, and F. Now, like I had in the angle problem a bit earlier when we introduced the topic, I can reverse the sequence of the letters. So this is the same thing as the angle formed by F, C, B. Um, so that's F, C, and B. We're still uh, coming around the corner at that common point of C. And also for the green icon, uh, the green angle, uh, we can reverse those letters if necessary. Uh, F, E, C, that is the line, the angle formed from the points F, E, and C, where we're basically turning a corner and that's where the angle is. I hope this video has been useful and you're starting to get the hang of some of the terminology that we use in geometry. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.